different. Um, let me tell you this story and, 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 and let me have you react to it. We got this dad, right? The dad was an all-state football player, got drafted by the Browns, played a few years. He was the man coming up. And he has two sons, right? And his first son is at St. Ed's. Um, he's like all-state. He's killing it. He's doing his thing. He's following in dad's footsteps. And then he has a second son that's a few years younger and hates football, but he's pretty good with music, great pianist, right? So the dad, you know, like most dads at St. Ed's, taking their kids to all the camps. Ohio State got the recruiting camp, they're there. You know, if they're going to, you know, Florida, they're going to all of these, these camps to give the exposure. So he's putting the money there. The dad is on the booster program, you know, painting his face, leaving work early leaving champs early to get down there to be a part of the barbecue, right? But his second son is always like, hey, dad, man, I got this recital, but the dad doesn't always show up. He always has a reason. Work is always in the way. He's like, hey, I got a chance to compete in Chicago. The dad is like, you know, we can't afford to go there, right? Now, I want you to think about it from this perspective, right? If you were to ask that dad, do you love both boys? What do you think he would say? Yes. Without a doubt. And so I had to create this story to try to help people understand what belonging and inclusion feels like. Now, if you were to ask son number two, do you feel love? He might he be hesitant when it comes to his dad. Now, let me ask you this. If I were to go to dad's office, what do you think I would find? Pictures of his children. But do you think those pictures would be equitable? If I were to go to dad's Facebook page, right? Or his Instagram or his Twitter and look at what he's posting, what do you think you're gonna find? Same as football, right? So, so you're going to begin to notice that when you go to the dad's office and you know that he has more than one son, you're going to begin to see the visuals. You're going to begin to see all these things connected to the older son, heavily biased, right? And so one son feels like it's a lot of love, but the second son, you don't see much, even when it comes to the Instagram page or the Facebook. Now let me ask you this, what kind of relationship you think exists between the older brother and the younger brother? Jealousy, animosity, resentment? Absolutely. And this is what a lot of organizations look like. You saw how I did that? <laughs> Because sometimes I have to create it like that, right? You have to kind of create a parable to help people understand so that it relates and it connects to their heart. Because we've all seen that before. Perhaps we've been the older brother or perhaps we've been the younger brother in our growing up to where we know what it feels like to not have the same support or the same zeal or the same energy about things that are important to you, but you see that same energy and zeal you, you see it being poured into your sibling or somebody that's close to you. And you're like, what about me? And that's what this whole conversation about diversity, equity, inclusion and belonging is about, is that you have people who feel like, man, I don't see myself and I don't feel like people are excited about things that are important to me.